after WrestleMania, WWE will go back to dual branded pay-per-views. Alexis Carrillo here back with some more wrestling talk content on the Alexis Carrillo brand YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more wrestling talk content in the future. WWE announced on their social media accounts that following WrestleMania, all pay-per-view events would be dual branded, meaning, meaning that stars from Raw and SmackDown Live would be able to have matches and compete at any given pay-per-view event. This coupled with the ongoing speculation that WWE plans to have 5 hour blocks of programming on the WWE Network during their pay per view events. This including their, their traditional kickoff show. Now these are news to me, these are news to the wrestling community, these are news to everyone in the internet wrestling community because for the past year, year and a half, ever since the second brand split, the second attempt that the WWE has had to do uh, the brand split, separating Raw and SmackDown Live into two separate rosters, they try to go the, do the, the separate branded pay-per-view events for each brand. Very few times did it work. Most of the times we got two, three for good matches on the pay-per-views and then we had some kinds of matches that you know one would expect on that that we would see on the regular television show and not on an actual pay-per-view and then obviously with having 14 15 sometimes even 16 pay-per-views a year it was it was overkill you were you were overexposing your product you were overexposing your superstars, your feuds, your rivalries, your matches. I mean, we saw Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal three times on three separate SmackDown Live pay-per-views. And I think we, we saw uh, that match like one or two, maybe even three times in between each pay-per-view on SmackDown Live. So very repetitive, very, very, uh, um, you know, not interesting in terms of WWE programming that they were putting out. Raw, the, the past year, has been some of the most lackluster television we've seen. And to couple that with pay-per-views just for Raw, you know, it, it, it just didn't work. SmackDown Live kind of has taken that spot for, uh, out, out of them. They, they, they've taken their spot of being uninteresting right now. But, you know, this, this is uh, uh, a good move by the WWE because this way you can sell each pay-per-view. You can, you can promote each pay-per-view like a big deal with the big stars of each brand instead of really having slim pickings on each roster to put on the pay-per-view card. So now, you're getting, so now I think the route that they're going to go is... WWE Championship match, Universal Championship match, obviously, after they take the title off of Brock Lesnar with the title, the Universal title on vacation over the past year, but we'll get that in a future video, perhaps. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship, the United States Championship, both tag team titles. I mean, the, the card fills itself with the titles, except that uh, separated into brands, you only get two, three like I said, four possible championship matches while everything else has to be some feud or some random match that the booking team has uh, put in sorts that they have uh, put on the card for no other reason than to fill, than to be filler. And that should never be on a pay-per-view because obviously the name says pay-per-view. You should be paying for what you want to see. Now I also listen and, and read all these comments about how once again the WWE has failed and they're not wrong. They're, they're not wrong. Uh, obviously, if they had done the separate pay-per-view branded paper, oh, sorry, I butchered my words. I'm, I'm really uh, thinking about other stuff. I'm thinking ahead of time instead of just talking, obviously, but uh, you know, they, they, they haven't been on their best 
booking wise they, you know their creative hasn't been the best and that we saw that ever since the brand split ever since you had a raw pay-per-view and you had three mm, somewhat good matches with somewhat built up rivalries and everything else on the card was filler just to move on to the next pay-per-view event which is something that should not have happened and this is just WWE creative you know waving their 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 flag you know they're they're surrendering they can't handle the load they can't in my opinion they can't, they couldn't create six or seven compelling stories with or without championship matches to fill up the pay-per-view cards and that to me is just with the talent pool that WWE has right now it's amazing it's incredible I still can't believe it but now they're going back to the dual branded hopefully that that takes the load off of them but you never know with this creative team hopefully they take a note out of the NXT brand I mean obviously like I said in a previous video they were um, they the first NXT event I, I, I saw was TakeOver Philadelphia for five matches on the card on, the, on that card on the NXT TakeOver Philadelphia card and it was a great event it was phenomenal you, you, you didn't get bored you were invested and it was three hours remember when pay-per-views used to be three hours well NXT TakeOver Philadelphia was three hours WWE should go back to that they should go back to three hours and hey just build four five and maybe even six matches put them on the card put them on TV put them on pay-per-view give them the time to work the match and you know if they have long matches it might not feel as long as they will be if they couple them with the kickoff show with five hours of programming after the six hours we had at the Royal Rumble like I said overexposure overkill but hey that's just my opinion I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic we'd love to hear your feedback hit this video with a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the Alexis Carrillo brand YouTube channel for more wrestling talk content follow me on social media on Facebook at Alexis Carrillo and Twitter at underscore Alexis Carrillo that's it for me till next time